I'm Dina Moses and from Vermont Living Supplies and this is one in a series of videos on hand manipulated lace. It goes along with the June 2021 Rigid Heddle Kit um, for towels. These lovely ones here um, and it is this technique here but you can use it really anywhere. It's just a fun border. Okay. And I am demonstrating it on the warp from last month's kit, since that's what's still on the loom. So here I am. Um, I've, you know, woven some. Let's ignore this. Let's say I have a nice border. And um, this technique can be done on a closed shed or an open shed. So an open shed would be like this, but we're not going to do that. We're actually going to have the heddle in the neutral position. If you're weaving on a shaft loom, you're going to have all the threads in the down position. Um, yeah, so it's a wrapping technique. And same thing, we have to decide how many threads we're going to wrap in a group. I'm going to do my groups, I think six threads. Now this is six working ends, which is actually 12 threads, but it's six threads that... Um, that work together with six other threads. So I'm just gonna call them six threads. If you go through the um, heddle, you can see that. And I'm just gonna take my shuttle and I'm gonna go under those six threads, come out the other side. Then I'm gonna go back around to the beginning and now I'm gonna go under 12 threads. So there's these six threads and then here is the next six threads. So with my shuttle, I'm going under all of them, coming up 12 threads later. And then I'm gonna give this a nice pull. See how there's a wrap right there? Okay. Same thing, now I'm gonna go down into this hole here where we started that bundle. And I'm gonna come up, that's where we ended the bundle. So let's count six from there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna come up with the shuttle here. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing that for a while. And back 12 threads, back six threads, forward 12 threads. Back six threads, forward 12 threads. And see, so you tighten them up as you go, like the ones that you've just done, get a little bit loose. And then you can just keep like, now I'm tightening up all of these, including that one. At some point they'll stay tight. I have put my weft on a slightly smaller shuttle than I usually work with for this. You know, you can use a big shuttle, it's fine. My weft is getting kind of out of control here. But I'm trying to move fast because you guys are watching me and I want to get to the end of the row and show you what happens. Hmm. Six. You can use the slots in the holes um, to help you count. 
So like I can look and see, you know, it's every other thread is in an up position. So that's really all I have to count. It's a little messy here, but I'll clean that up. If you're gonna fast forward in this video or if you wanna like um, just to see the highlights, skip forward to the end. We'll be there soon enough, but I'm just gonna keep repeating. Okay, they're kind of all over the place here. That's all right. I'm going to go back and beat those down. We are symmetrical. We're kind of ending up with the um, with the groupings. You know, that's where we started. Was on a solid green with a solid green. And you can plan that. You can plan your warp stripes so that they work well with your groupings, or your groupings so that they work well with your warp stripes. Look at it either way. Six, and it looks like I've got an even number here. If I didn't, the last couple of groups would just be a little bit of an odd size. Okay, so here I am at the end. I'm gonna go underneath everything like that, okay? And then I'm gonna wrap this one again. Okay, so there's all my wraps. Now I'm gonna take my heddle bar and I'm gonna beat that so it's all nice and even. There we go. Another little pull there. And then I'm gonna go back to whatever shed I would have been on next. Now I'm coordinating this so that heddle in the up is right to left, heddle in the down is left to right. So I know that the last shot I threw was in the up position. I'm gonna go down to the down position now. And shuttle. When you do that, you wanna kind of tighten up those last couple of groups as you go. Up and a few throws so we can take a look and see what it's doing. And I'm just beating regular. Here we have a row of, this is Brooks Bouquet on a closed shed. Um, and just another wonderful thing to add to your toolbox. Thanks for watching.